Hey Magic fans, welcome to the latest Magic Player History episode on the career of Lorenzo Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn the story of every Magic player who ever suited up for the franchise. Lorenzo Williams grew up in Florida and played two years at Stetson University, finishing as the conference's all-time leading shot blocker despite only playing two seasons. Williams played in the GBA and the USBL before signing with the Charlotte Hornets in October 1992. Williams had a strong game against the Magic in the preseason with 11 rebounds and three blocks, including one against Shaquille O'Neal. The Hornets waived him after two games though and the Magic picked him up as they were thin in the front court, as they had Brian Williams, who had been diagnosed with clinical depression, they had Terry Catledge, who had broken his hand, and Jerry Reynolds, who was recovering from off-season neck surgery. After signing with the Magic in late November, Williams got spot minutes in three blowout losses against the Sonics, Clippers and Warriors in December. He only played a total of 10 minutes and he wondered why the Magic weren't playing him, but he commented that he had no control over the playing time and that he would be ready when his time came. After a contract mix-up where Williams used an uncertified agent, he had to re-sign his deal but he was waived when Jerry Reynolds came back off the injured list. In January, he was picked up by the Celtics and he played 22 games for them. Leading into the 1993-94 season, Boston waived Williams, and with Larry Kristowiak injured and Keith Tower battling tendonitis in his foot, the Magic decided to give him a second look. Williams hung around for three weeks this time, but again, he only got onto the court in garbage time against the Celtics, Blazers, and Sonics. His best game came against the Sonics, where he got 14 minutes of court time, scored a bucket, grabbed three offensive rebounds, two steals, blocked a shot, and he dished two assists. It was clear after that one-of-five shooting display that Williams wasn't what the Magic was after so they waved him again. Charlotte gave him a second run for one game, but then Williams found a home in Dallas. With the Mavericks, Williams developed into a shot-blocking undersized center, but he was one of the worst free-throw shooters in NBA history, converting on less than 38% of trips to the line throughout his entire career. After two seasons starting in Dallas, he signed a lucrative seven-year, $10 million deal with the Washington Bullets. Williams didn't live up to his contract, playing only 33 games in the first two seasons as he struggled with knee and foot injuries, before missing the entire 98-99 season after knee surgery. Williams returned to play eight games the following season, but then he was forced to retire with three years remaining on his contract. In Williams' six-game Orlando Magic career, he grabbed six rebounds, blocked four shots, and grabbed three steals. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Magic career of Lorenzo Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check back soon for our next episode on the Magic career of Steve Kerr.